Pakistan's northwest frontier, where men are men and goats are nervous. Where the flannelled fools race about in the midday sun, a legacy of the British Raj. But a far more ancient sport has been introduced to these parts from northern Afghanistan. Buzkashi, quite literally meaning goat grabbing. The goats can now relax. Today, a decapitated calf is the victim of choice. A four-legged football in a game that resembles rugby on horseback. Do you enjoy hurting your opponents? Do you enjoy hurting the, the other players on the other team? A Buzkashi match is a rare event in Peshawar that rates an appearance by the local bagpipe band. Refugees from the endless war in neighbouring Afghanistan brought the game here and judging by their flag would take it all the way to the Sydney Olympics given half a chance. Believe it or not, there are rules. Two teams of horsemen compete for possession of the 30 kilo carcass. To score, they carry it around a marker flag at the other end of the field, returning to the goal circle for the touchdown. As you've probably gathered, Buzkashi is a bloke thing. Women and girls are kept off in the distance. But it's discrimination with a certain logic, as occasionally there's an unexpected element of spectator participation. And to liven things up, there's also a running commentary. The exact origins of Buzkashi are vague. According to legend, it was invented by Genghis Khan as a training routine for his hordes, enabling them to gallop through enemy camps at high speed, snatching women, livestock and whatever else they could get their hands on. These days, players and officials seem to get their hands on plenty of cash from admiring fans. Perhaps there is a future for Buzkashi in the Olympics after all. The horses are trained to bite and kick. And the blows and falls are hard and frequent. To the victors go the spoils and one extremely tenderised carcass. Undisputed man of the match is Kar Mohammed, who scored four goals. <laughs> and not far away, his proud father, a retired Buzkashi champion. Proud father. Papa. Oh. 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 How do you think your son performed today? Magnanimous in victory, 
The winners invite the other team around for a little post-match get-together. The main course, the calf they fought and fell for. Match promoter Haji Abdul is proud of his players, still riding despite the odds. Tough mountain people from the north of Afghanistan who are among the first to join the Mujahideen when the Soviets invaded their country 21 years ago. For the one million Afghan refugees still in Pakistan, Buzkashi is more than a game. It gives them a sense of national identity, an anchor to their fading memories of home in happier times. غانیت لسه نور کرو سوچی دی افغانستان رسم و رواج جو اغی او منگا چی یو افغانم پاتی شی اغا اخپل کلچر ورکی نه